Okay, it's your turn, and you have to lead. You have to start tapping, and then you say, what's the name of the game? Thumper. Right, and we say Thumper. And then <laughs> you say, what are we here to do? <laughs> and we say, get fucked up. You know, I keep taking mental notes of all these stupid things that happen so I can tell you about them later. Really? Yeah. You scared of it? Yeah. Good. Me too. Oh no. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Steve's got a bow. <laughs> Got a boat. Lying in my bed, I hear the clock tick and think of you. Caught up in circles, confusion is nothing new. Flashback to warm nights, almost left behind. Suitcase memories, time. Back home, I don't get to act the way I do with you. So that's why I don't have a back home. Oh, I, I, know. I know. You're so cool. Mr. Empty Backpack. You know about my backpack? I Googled you. You did? Oh, it's what us modern girls do when we have a crush. Your body? Uh, it depends. Is the bag empty because you hate people or because you hate the baggage that they come along with? I don't hate people. I'm not exactly a hermit. You just don't want to be tied down with the, the whole responsibility thing? I don't think that's it. That's... The first time I flew, I was 16. You're not going to answer my question? You're just going to tell me a story? Yeah. It was January, and I just got my driver's license. Mm -hmm. And the lakes had frozen over, so we all piled in the car, and we went down to the ice to do donuts. <laughs> all of a sudden, we hit a soft spot and the hood of my car tilted up, and we were sliding backwards into the water. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we were literally, I was literally drowning. Then a few seconds, I black out. When I wake up, I'm in the sky. I'm in a helicopter, I'm on a stretcher, and there's a guy in a uniform that's telling me that I was just a few minutes away from dying. Oh, my God. Right. So we're hovering over the hospital, and I sit up, and from there I could see the whole western horizon. We've been flying for 20 minutes. Hmm. 20 hmm. minutes to see a city that I thought of as remote halfway across the state, you know, foreign capital. My parents taught me that we lived in the best place on earth. Hmm. But now I could see that the world was all just one big place, and comparing it didn't make much sense. And I remember thinking to myself, don't tell me that this isn't an age of miracles, and don't tell me that we can't be everywhere at once. I don't know what originally sparked the backpack. Probably needed to be alone. Recently, I've been thinking that I needed to empty the backpack before I knew what to put back in it. 